Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Mysore Automation Channel. Today I am going to demonstrate how can you capture a console logs during your automation scripts. So console logs are basically when you open a website. So as an example, so this is my website. So during our automation run, I wanted to capture the console logs. How can you see that console logs? Once you right click onto the anywhere, or uh, anywhere on your page, and go to inspect that you can see or you can directly click on F12. After that you will see this console here. So once you click on the console you will see some logs here. So I wanted to capture all these logs during my automation run so that that can be helpful whenever there is any uh, issue occurs on the page it automatically gives some errors. So I will capture all those logs and I can provide to my developer. I will show you how can you achieve this simple trick. So do stay tuned to entire video so that you can understand and you can also answer the interview questions as well. This is my Maven project and under that I have uh, uh, these many packages under my source test uh, Java and I will be creating another class and a package. Right. Let's quickly call our web driver and create a, a setup for that. I am using a web driver API manager to avoid the system set property and exe files managing. So everything I can do handled by this web driver API manager dot chrome dot setup. And this is a simple line where you no need to use the exe file as well. So automatically this will bring the latest exe file and it will launch the browser. And then after we need a web driver, web driver driver equals new Chrome driver, right? And driver dot get. So what website that we are using? This is a website, and I will use this website again. And now, after you open website, you need to perform some action on the application. So for say example, I will use a simple login. So I will quickly capture everything, right click onto the form field, go to ID, if it is ID then you can use the ID. So I will quickly do this thing, driver dot find element by dot ID and you need to send something right, send keys, so for say example testing demo and then after we have this password as well so quickly right click and inspect then you will see so it has a pass let's say driver so this will uh, launch my website and quickly it will enter the username password and click on login button so during this transaction i wanted to capture all my console logs so for that i can use one class called log entries so this is used for logging mechanism and you can use this class uh, to log your or uh, browser console logs so we need to use a driver reference here driver dot manage under that manage you will have one more method called logs and in that you will have one more method called get get logs so we have get under that get we need to add some parameter called log log type and log type as browser so what type of logging that you are performing so i'm doing a browser logging right so this line will help you to get the control over all the browser console or you can say logging all whatever the logging happening in any browser it will get the control of that and then after you need to iterate this entire logs for that i will using this list so list is from java utils and you need to uh, under that parameter you need to provide log entry So 
so log entry is the logging for only one one entry dot logs equals and you need to use a reference of log entries which is a logging mechanism log entry dot get all so this will get all the loggings which are captured in your browser right and in case you wanted to uh, see more information about these methods just mouse over onto this method and you will see this class also provides a filter mechanism based on the levels so we can use the levels as well so i will show that here on. and once you have this you need to iterate this entire list right to iterate list i will be using this for each condition for each log log entry and you need to provide some reference for this the reference will be a log so there's a logs here and go to this line and just type sys out and assist sys out like say a uh, logging console logs and then after uh, i will use a new line here to make sure that will be printed on a new line and concatenate and using that i will just say log right quickly save and just run this program now it has started our browser it has launching the website Right, it had performed all these actions so we have entered username password then it clicked on login of course it will be failing because we are not using the valid credentials here so let's close this automated browser and in the background you can see logging the console logs and you have seen right uh, there is one log big log was here and this is information which is available on your console log and now what i want to do right so it it is capturing everything which is on my uh, browser but i wanted to uh, make sure based on the severity and the messages i will be capturing that for that i will be using the same lines of code uh, to capture entries and also the entry uh, list operation here and then after we have one more for each condition for each log entry log entry log so for this i will be using this so this is a l capital e right and let's say system dot 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 print and here i will say sh is and i will capture this in a new line again and concatenate using this log dot get message and i will be using another sist out where i wanted to segregate according to the level level is and new line again log dot get level this line help you to get the messages and the next line will help you to get the levels of each message so i will do shuffle this uh, let's bring it up so that level wise you will see it right so let's quickly save and run again right now you can see the level is severe and message is this so it has captured entire logs on the console and it has segregated the levels as well so this is how you can capture all the logs from the browser console and you can put it in your 
uh, Eclipse console. In case if you wanted to write this to a text file, we can still add the file utility and you can add that to a file. So that part I will show in the next session. I hope this session is useful for you. In case if you are new to my channel, do subscribe to my channel. Do share your comments, feedback. And in case if you like this session, do post a like.